tonight. Uh, our topic, defective CPAP machines. Callie Mendenhall uh, with Ferris Riley and Pitt is here tonight to take your questions along with Ken Riley. Let's go straight to the phone lines. Uh, have folks lined up and ready to talk with us tonight. Deborah from Pell City. I understand that you uh, have hung in there with us. Deborah, how can we help tonight? Uh, yes, I have a couple of questions. My CPAP broke back in the spring, and my doctor put in a prescription for a new one. So when I went, checked on it, they just kept telling me it was back ordered. Then I got the message from Philip not telling me not to use it. So they told me to call my doctor's office. My doctor's office told me there was nothing wrong with the CPAP, that it was because I was using the SoClean that I could keep using it if I wanted to. But I'm still getting the runaround on it being back ordered. And in the meantime, my husband uses one also. And because I had gotten the message from Phillips, we both stopped using our CPAP and have not used it for several months now. And both of us really need them. So what am I supposed to do? I can't get one anyway because mine's broken and it's on back order. And he just stopped using his. So what are we supposed to do in the meantime? Hmm. And who do I need to contact? And what's going on? Hmm. I've been using mine for three years and he's been using one for two years. Serious situation, your advice, Callie. Well, first I would really take the time to go through and see whether or not your husband's CPAP device is on that recall list. If it's not, he is fine to continue using his. Is it worth a discussion with his doctor? Sure. But if it's on the recall list, that's one that you really need to pay attention to. If it's not, then that means that currently the FDA and the manufacturer of that device say it's okay. Now, there is a problem with the Philips CPAP having, or CPAP um, brands having enough product to replace the current models that are out there that have been recalled. That is something that Philips is working on. Um, and I do know that it is not only a citywide, statewide issue, but it's a problem for everybody in the country that's got one of these recalled devices. Um, there's no good solution to it, and I wish there was. Um, but what I would say is if there's a way to talk to your doctor about maybe having him prescribe you a different device that might, you know, have the same benefits of a Philips CPAP, that might be something worth um, seeing if you can get access to a little bit faster. And lastly, on your concern regarding the so clean versus the actual CPAP device, the so clean product, just so everybody's aware, that is actually a cleaner that is um, compliant with the standards that, that Philips has and it, it's allowed to, you, to be used to help clean that device. And the CPAP machine, um, it's, the recall has shown that it will affect the device whether you're using SoClean or not. So it is a true Philips problem, not a SoClean issue. Okay, that's great advice. Thank you so much.